What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and as an I'm going to be showing how to make a suburban house. This is the 66th installment of Suburban House, and uh, yeah, I tried to go with something different again, and uh, this is what I came up with. It's like, okay, it's, it's uh, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It's good enough for it to be a tutorial, but not like, insane good. Insanely good, like I've had some that are, and some that are not. Um... I don't have a whole ton else to say about this, so that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to be needing for this is a 26 by 21, and the materials we're needing to start off are stone bricks, stone brick walls, which is interesting, um, brick blocks, pillar quartz blocks, Tripwire hooks, birchwood planks, smooth quartz blocks, oh, we're gonna get tight, black stained glass panes, and I guess brucewood planks, because I really don't have any other options that would work. So, um, also I do just want to say that, um, that 21 might be wrong all the time. I don't feel like double checking, I'm listening to music anyways, and it might be wrong. But I know that the tw this one is always going to be correct. But this one I base off of that, and if I count it wrong, it'll still be correct. So this could theoretically be 20 blocks long, or 22, and I wouldn't know. Unless I counted it again, which, like, if I go just, like, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's correct. It's probably never gonna be wrong. I'd probably, like, notice, but, yeah. Starting from the front right-hand corner of your 26 by 21 grid cough coffee cough minute, you want to count left by one. And going left, you want to place a stone brick. Five brick blocks and a stone brick and we've already hit our first roadblock solid that literally took 10 seconds get rid of your spruce wood blanks for a second get out spruce wood stairs and then going left in that stone brick block place three spruce wood stairs stone brick five brick blocks and then another stone brick and then you can actually get rid of that spruce wood stair and get out planks again although you will need the stairs later which is not for a good while Bring either end brick or stone brick, sorry, back by four. So the far left and the far right ones. Actually, bring it back by five, I lied. I, like, honed in on just the porch and that, yeah. Then bring them inwards or towards the center of the porch by five. So it'll be the left one right and the right one left. Like so. Then from, we'll say the left one, you can go forward diagonally to the right with a brick block. Bring it right one, right with a spruce wood plank, and then two brick blocks. Fill in, oh, I'm dumb. Fill in the center of this thing in with spruce wood planks. I'll show you why I'm dumb in a second here. I always make sure that I don't do this on suburban house tutorials, yet I accidentally did the thing that I don't want to do on suburban house tutorials. It's fine. It just makes it a little bit more confusing. So, this entire thing obviously isn't the porch, we need a wall, and I kind of forgot that I should probably make the porch railings before I make the wall, which is fine, it'll work, but whatever. It's just annoying. Uh, bring each stone brick block up with one stone brick and then three stone brick walls. Now you want to connect the stone bricks, the upper ones, together with stone brick walls on top of the brick blocks only, and then you want to bring those outer ones back with four stone brick walls, and then that'll just, that'll fix our issue. That's a pretty easy fix, I just didn't, I just hate when I do that. Just like that. So you can see, now we have a wall that was pretty clearly defined. Because I mean, like, you could figure out, like, huh, does it go forward by another one on the left or whatever? Now we know exactly what our wall looks like. And you just want to place a birchwood plank on top of each of those brick blocks. And then you will have that gap there, which is fine. I don't think we can do anything about that right now. Well, no, you can. Get rid of your stone brick walls and get our dark oak doors and place a dark oak door in that gap. Not, not a stone brick. Solid. Great start. Going left or right or right to left on top of that wall does not matter. You want to place a birchwood plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pins, smooth quartz block, birchwood plank, 
Uh, then on top of this little row of five, just place uh, five Bertrand Blanks, or technically four in this situation because of the door. And then on the row of six next, place Bertrand Blank, Smooth Quartz Block. Two black stained glass panes, smooth quartz block, and birch wood plank. I hate saying diagonally, so I didn't, and that's what you should have. Copy that row one more time, except you uh, want to place a block above the door like I was talking about earlier. That's kind of why I also made that specification, which I sometimes... I did it once, and I hated the way it sounded. So it's like, I'm just never going to do that again. And I did it again, so I lied. Okay, so the problem with this next step is that we can't figure it out without the roof. I mean, I can, I just don't know the number off the top of my head. So, what you want to do instead is uh, on top of the left and the right sections, those sections that are six long, ignoring the middle one, you want to just place four rows of Bertrand Blanks on top of each one. I, like, forgot how to count for a second there. That was bad. Also, hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am, for the most part, it's a Wednesday, so that's always fun, I guess. Better than uh, Monday or Tuesday. Or Sunday, I guess. Uh, Sunday night, I should say. This time on a Sunday would be upsetting, because it's 5 p.m. 5, oh, 6, to be exact. Anyways, going left to right or right to left on top of either row of 6 does not matter. You want to place a birchwood plank, smooth quartz block, Two black stained glass bands, smooth quartz block, and a birch wood plank. And again, do that on both. Copy that row one more time. If I can place, that'd be nice. And then you want to place two rows of birch wood planks on top of that. Now, you could stick with one and deal with it, but I'm going to go with two. Uh, it'll look a little odd for now, but it, it'll we'll, we'll need the entirety of that second row, so I might as well just get it out of the way now, and then it'll technically make our next step easier. But not the next step, the roof, I should say. That's not near the next step. We're doing that, like, last. We're try I'm trying to get rid of all the materials that we have right now before moving on to anything else. Speaking of which, you can actually get rid of your stone brick uh, block and, I guess, get out spruce wood stairs again? I don't know. So you want to come to the back left-hand corner of this wall, and you want to bring this brick block back diagonally to the left with another brick block. Then bring that back diagonally to the left with a sideways pillar quartz block, making sure that the uh, like tree-looking face is on the left and the right. Bring that sideways pillar quartz block left by four. Then go four diagonally to the left with a brick block. Bring that brick block... Oh, I didn't write down this number. Back by 12, I think. Wow, I was right. And right by 6. I completely forgot about that number and that it existed. You want to bring your brick blocks all up with three birchwood planks. I don't know why I said that like it was surprising. I kind of should have figured that. But counting is hard, so I looked at my thingy, aka my photo of the build, because I have a photo of it. It's very low quality, but it exists. And then you can bring your sideways pillar quartz block up by, whoopsies, up by two rows, not preferably, preferably with the right material. And then place a tripwire hook in the bottom center and connect your top birch planks together, left and right. Like so. So this looks a little bit odd. It kind of looks like a city skyline, not gonna lie. Uh, two big buildings, two short buildings. I don't know where that came from, just... Yeah. Um, now, what do we want to do? Okay. Come to the right side, for, or I guess the technically the back right, which is this block right here. See, I placed a brick block moving out from it. Don't do that, because you don't want that there. But you do want to bring this brick block here back by 14. Yes, 14. Then go left by... 7... There's a spruce wood plank, and then eight brick blocks. Place a dark oak door on the back side of that spruce wood plank, unless you wanted to do it on the front face, then go for it. But behind the spruce wood plank, you want to place a spruce wood stair facing back, and then left and right of that, you want to place spruce wood stairs facing towards that stair. So it'll give you this effect, which kind of looks like stairs. 
which is our goal. Because it's a staircase. On top of this little like corner of brick blocks, you want to place ten rows of birchwood planks. You'll notice it will be one shorter than the front, and that is fine. But also make sure that you do place eight birchwood planks on top of the door just to kind of keep that pattern going. Um, again, add windows, um, but I'd recommend waiting till you have a portion of the inside done. Just so, um, that way, or that you have your in your inside completely done, just so that way you know can base your windows off that. If you don't have, if you're not gonna make an interior, then just kind of scatter them wherever you feel like would be logical. It is up to you what you want to do. But that is just my personal suggestion. And then that will give you a pretty close to finished build, actually. Just based on structure, structural, structurally? Sure, that's a word now. What can we get rid of now? Almost everything, actually. Uh, you can get rid of your spruce wood stairs, your dark oak door, your brick block, your pillar quartz block, your tripwire hook, your black stained glass pane, and your spruce wood planks. I just bring the two things you have remaining forward and get out an addition. Smooth quartz slabs. Smooth quartz stairs. Deep slate bricks. Deep slate brick slabs. And where are they? Deep slate brick stairs. I want to say that's everything you're going to need. Something like that. Now, come to your front. And on top of each pillar of stonework walls, you want to place a smooth quartz slab on the top of it. Connect those slabs together and also connect the end ones back. Backward to that wall or one of the it'll be do something like This it's an unusual house. It's very unusual Bring that row of slabs in with a row of deep slate brick blocks. I guess a uh, underscore shape Then bring that in with a row of ups and on deep slate brick slabs. Hopefully you should know where this is going Bring that up with a row of deep slate brick slabs. Go in with a row of deep slate brick blocks. And then before you finish it off, I'd recommend bringing this like birch thing up. Till it's in line with the deep slate brick blocks like that. So it'll be up by, what is that, three rows I think? Yeah, I think three is the number. And then kind of just fill in the center as expected. So the ups don't deep slate brick slabs either side. And then just deep slate brick slabs on top of all of that. And just for the final touch, you want to, in between the two, I'll call them towers, you want to place the row of deep set brick blocks behind the slabs. Behind the deep set brick blocks, you want to place the row of birch wood planks, and bring that row of birch up by three. Like so. That's one of, I guess, three roofs done. Now... For the, hmm, I'm trying to think of how I want to how I want to do this. Okay, what you want to do is, you want to essentially connect the left sides of the main structure together. We'll say, I'd recommend connecting like from the row of smooth quartz slabs that row and everything above it. That's just my personal preference. Because I don't know exactly what of this is gonna we're gonna need, but I also want to have this entire wall here so we can cling to it. You could also go a row lower than that. You might want to. You might want to just fill in everything that's gonna be seen if you're not gonna use this roof as a attic or anything, especially from an access point from there. I don't know why you'd want one, so you might just want to just fill that in. Unless you're gonna do something fancy with walls, then like maybe don't. But I just recommend filling it in. And then you do also want to bring the top row of, you do want to bring this top virtual plank at the left and the right. You actually want to bring them back and then inward by five once you hit the back. So we're essentially just kind of copying the, 
levels that we have at the front. So you can see it's six five six six five six. Which is correct. Cool. Kinda looks like a koala or something, I don't know. Not a koala. I think you get my point. Um what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna come to the front, because the front has the depth feature that will help us kinda or that will help guide us to what we're doing. So at the inside and outside of these like towers, I'm gonna still call them. You wanna place the rest smooth quartz slabs off either edge and at the um, outer edges it wants to overhang the front and the back by one. And at the inner edge, edges, it just wants to overhang the front by one. I mean, you could theoretically bring it all the way through, although some of them you, yeah, you might destroy. And then you could also just mark it out there, but it's a little bit different on the back, and you'll see why. But yeah, just like this. At the front, you want to connect the back stairs that are on the inside. You want to connect them together, which is three smooth cord slabs like that. And now you have these four stairs, and you want to bring each one in with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. In with an upside down smooth quartz stair. You might want to do one roof at a time if you find it easier. Up with a smooth quartz stair. In with an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then up with a smooth quartz stair, and that'll give you a peak effect. Like this, or a triangle. It'll give you triangles. Yeah, I love triangles. Um, now, okay, I don't know how I want to do this, because the way this roof works is really dumb. Um, and I designed it, I'm calling it dumb. What you're going to want to do is you want to come to the back. Let's just, let's just get the back one out of the way, and then we'll work from there. You want to bring either a smooth quartz stair in with a block... Then in with, hang on, let me make sure I have this number right. Eh, it's not going to face ID. Cool, thanks. Incredible. Absolutely amazing piece of technology right here. Um, huh? Wait. We'll just say four smooth quartz slabs. Oh yeah, that is correct. Smooth quartz block. Smooth quartz stair facing in. And then you want to do the same thing from the other side. So it'll have the block, four slabs, block, stair, and then just place three slabs connecting those stairs together, like so. So I'll give you this effect, which is kind of weird. Um, but on top of each smooth quartz block, you want to place a stair facing, I guess outward technically, away from the inside of those peaks. Then go in with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Should know where this is going. In with an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then up with a smooth quartz stair. Like so. Now, the logical way I would do this roof is connect the outsides first. So it'll just be front to back. So these three stairs on either side just connect these smooth quartz stairs front to back with deep set brick stairs and be on the outside. The inside is weird. Um. It's about the only way I know how to describe it. Weird. But, uh, we'll figure it out. I don't know how to explain it. I understand how it works. I just don't understand how to explain it. So, if you want to go... If you want to do the front and the back at the same time, that might be ideal. But, you don't have to. I'm not going to explain it twice. But, once you get one side, the other side should make more sense. So, you have this row of slabs with the stairs on either side. Place a row of deep set brick blocks behind all of that. The slabs and those stairs. Bring either smooth quartz stair now back by three, or on the next row up, I should say. And then connect them together with a row of slabs. Fuck, there's a bug on me. I hate that. I don't know why. I think it's my hair in my face. I hate that. It's even worse. Place your deep set brick blocks behind the stairs with the slabs again. Now bring the next set of stairs back by five. Connect them together with a row of slabs. Place a row of deep set brick blocks behind. Then bring the next row of stairs, which will be the final row back by seven, I think. Yes, seven. Connect the end ones together with slabs. And then place a row of blocks behind that. Now, if you're going to just bring it down the other side, then you're going to want to place another row of blocks behind that and then start bringing it down. 
Um, I actually think I'm gonna try it this way because I just want to see if my brain will logic. If not, you can actually just bring it up the other side the same way. It's pretty simple. It's it's harder to bring it down than it is to bring it up because like when you're bringing it up, it's kind of just like okay, just follow the pattern. But when you're bringing it down, it's like okay, how does this go? Like see there, I kind of screwed up because I forgot where I was at. Because I instantly want to autopilot and do blocks, but there's the slabs too that I have to do. I mean, it's not really hard, just kind of got to make sure you know what you're doing or don't screw up. Yeah, just like that. There's your main roof done. Pretty simple. Now, the other roof's weird. Why do I say it's weird? It's just because it is. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you want to come to the left side of the garage and you want to place an upside down smooth quartz slab off the front and the back block and it wants to overhang the front and the back by one, but they do not want to connect together. So you should have this, which is correct. Let me make sure I have an do I have an image? I do have an image. I don't know where it is though. There you go. Then bring either inward upside down smooth quartz slab in with another upside down slab. Then go up with the slab. In with a block. In with an upside down slab. Up with whoops, is it up with a slab? Not a block. Or not in with a slab. In with a block. In with an upside down slab. Up of the slab and then place a block in the middle like so. That'll give you this. And then... I don't know how to describe this because this roof is awkward. So what you want to do is you want to essentially... You want to bring the left slab at the front. You want to bring it right with an upside down slab. Up of the slab. Right with a block. Right with an upside down slab. Up of the slab. Right with a block. Then go right with a slab, down with an upside down slab, right with a block, right with a slab, down with an upside down slab. And then you want to do the same thing at the back, except it's you're just flipping your left and right, which is actually only a right to a left. Did I do that wrong? I didn't. Okay. So it'll give you this. This is weird. I know it's very weird. Now, to connect this roof... It's weird. I'm going to tell you it's weird. So, what I would recommend starting with is taking just the top peak of the left roof, which is going to be the block, and I want to say, you can actually bring the the first row of blocks, first row of slabs, and also the second row of blocks, and just connect it left to right. That second row of blocks will kind of get in our way. Well, I'm not going to get in our way, but it's going to be a part of something, unlike the top port part. The top part just kind of connects, and then just like, yep, that's what I do, and I'm done here. And then you can connect the top smooth quartz blocks on the front and back peaks inward with deep set brick blocks, so it'll be forward or backward, like that. And then if you want, you, you're essentially just connecting them now, point to point, and you're pretending like you have a smooth quartz peak over here as well. So anything you do on the left side, you're going to want to do on the right side. So it's just like, you have like a T now, just place kind of in the corner here, just place a little, a little like a uh, right angle of deep set brick slabs. And then do that on both sides, so you can see it'll give you this. One's a seven, one's a backward seven. And then you're going to want to just do this on all four corners. So next it'll be blocks. You just want to connect the left peak to the back peak or the left peak to the front peak, whichever it'll be. Okay, yeah, you did actually want that bottom row that I ended up placing for fun. And then it'll just be two blocks left, which will just be deep set brick subs. I guess eight total because two times four is eight. Quick math. So yeah, just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to fill in all of your peaks in with birchwood planks. Like that, because no one wants to see into your attic. What is this, the 66th one and we're still saying this? Man, oh man. <laughs> and it's true though, no one probably does. Except for that one sketch neighbor that everyone probably has. He might. He might be wanting to. But you don't want him to see in, though. That's that's when it gets different. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This has gotten to a whole new level of dumbness. That's, that is a word, right? Yeah, that's a word. Dumbness is a word. And, uh, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your suburban house, the 66th installment complete.
I uh, was making sure we had everything correct, which we do. Uh, thank you guys so much if you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think of this one. This one is my personal favorite. It's it's okay. I'd probably rank it somewhere in the middle, which is not saying much because um my old ones were not particularly great. But I have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Peace.